Hello friends and welcome back to Gemini Connect. Today we're here to talk about the GoPro Hero 7 Black and three ways to modify your GoPro vlogging rig. If you've been following our channel for a while, you'll know that Gemini Connect is all about two travel photographers turned videographers who are using cameras like the GoPro to vlog and take you behind the scenes of our photo and video shoots. So for the past year, we've really been focusing on vlogging and trying to figure out the best camera and setup for doing travel vlogs. And it's been a struggle, I'm not gonna lie. It's been really hard. Uh, if you've watched some of our previous vlogs, you might see that technically we were suffering for a little bit. But almost a year later, we have really come to love this particular setup right here, which features the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And we just released a video with five reasons why the GoPro is the optimal vlogging camera. I will leave a link right up here if you wanna check that video out. And so my GoPro vlogging rig has really evolved thanks to this company, Uwanzi. And Uwanzi has released not one, but now three different versions of this vlogging cage. And so today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about these other vlogging cage options by Uwanzi. So one of the reasons why this Uwanzi cage was really helpful to begin with is because this is your standard GoPro right out of the box. And right out of the box, it is of course a perfect action camera and it's an okay vlogging camera. But the biggest reason that it's not the best vlogging camera right out of the box is because of the sound. And even though the internal sound on the GoPro has improved a lot in the Hero 7 Black, it's still not the best. But GoPro is giving you the option to add a microphone jack so that you can attach an external microphone, but you have to buy this mic jack. And again, it can cost anywhere between 50 and $100 depending on availability. But the nice thing is you do have the option to connect this through the USB-C port right here and you have a mic jack to plug in a better microphone and enhance your sound. But GoPro doesn't release a cage or a really you know, easy option to secure this adapter, which honestly is really big. It's about as big as the GoPro. So Ulanzi was really great because they released this cage here, which is pretty simple. And one feature that's really great is this little bar down here, which gives you the perfect spot for putting that little mic adapter there and it's like this adapter isn't even here. And another thing that's really great about the Tulanzi cage is this cold shoe mount on top, which is really great for mounting accessories. And we'll talk about specific accessories in a little bit, but one that has been super helpful lately is the receiver of the Rode Wireless Go, which has been my go-to lav mic option for the GoPro and based on the size, and the fit, it just fits the GoPro so well, especially when it's being used in this Ulanzi cage. So this was the Ulanzi V2 GoPro vlogging cage, but a few months later, they came out with the V2 Pro. So this is a different Ulanzi cage. It's not that much different from the original V2, but it has a few uh, really major improvements. And one is that there is now a filter thread up front for mounting filters, such as this graduated ND filter. This thread will fit any 52 millimeter uh, lens filters that are out there. And filters like the ND grad are super important because if you take a really close look up here, you'll notice that the top section is a little bit darker than the bottom. And that is really essential for like landscape photos or videos where your sky might be a little bit brighter and blown out as opposed to your foreground. So in those cases, you really wanna use a filter like this. And you can also use regular ND filters that are completely blacked out or completely dark and they help you control your exposure and your shutter speed. Or you can also use a polarizer, but the ND grad filter is one of those that I really find to be one of the most helpful, especially when I'm shooting outside in a natural setting. And it's really great to have the option to use these lens filters because they're significantly cheaper compared to lens filters that you can buy specifically for GoPro because you can get the similar effects. I don't know if they have graduated ND filters, but I know that they have regular ND filters and I believe even polarizers that can replace this little lens here on top of the GoPro because did you know that this little filter here is actually replaceable in the GoPro? Polar Pro makes three ND filters. Uh, they're rather expensive, but they're really, really nice quality, but they do require you to remove this front filter on the GoPro and replace them with uh, Polar Pro's versions. There are other cheaper versions also by Telesyn, and we have another video, which I'll leave a link to right here, if you want to watch a comparison between these two filters in case you're interested in uh, attaching these filters directly to the GoPro. 
Another key feature of the Ulanzi V2 Pro is the inclusion of this metal bar down here. Now you don't have to use this metal bar, you can actually detach the cage right here and use it right by itself. And when the cage is detached, it looks very, very similar to the V2 version. It's all plastic, still has this bar in the bottom to house your mic adapter and also the cold shoe mount on top. But the main difference is again, the addition of the filter thread up front and also giving you this metal bar. The PT7 is the name of the part. And there's also a screw on the end. And on the other far end of it, there's also a cold shoe mount. And that is again, great for any accessories that you have, or this is a spare part that you need to buy. And it has a cold shoe mount at the bottom for slipping into this end of it. And also up top, there is another three quarter inch screw for mounting things like cameras. So that would be the first one that I show you. And doing that, I can mount a small camera such as this Osmo Pocket and have it right here. This is really great for like vlogging where like you want the camera trained on you. So I might flip this GoPro to face me so that I can vlog directly into the camera. But I also want my viewer to see what I'm seeing. So maybe I want the Osmo Pocket to be panning as I'm talking. Another accessory that you might want to put on this bar here is an external mic. So again, you have some wireless options such as the Rode Wireless Go, which again, I love, highly, highly recommend this system. If you're using a system like the Rode, you can stick you know, the receiver up here, or you can also stick it over on the side here on the bar in case you want to put something else up here. If you are using a shotgun mic such as this Rode Wireless Go, you can also, Again, stick it on top of the rig right here in the cold shoe, or you have the option of sticking it here to the side in case you don't want it on top of your GoPro. And one of the great things about being able to put the mic to the side like this is that it won't interfere as much when you're shooting with this wide angle lens, because I know that putting this mic on top of the GoPro, a lot of times this wind muff is actually so large that it actually dips down into your frame. So by putting it off to the side like this, it's less likely to intrude on your camera space. Another reason why you might want to use a cage like this is in case you have an external light. So the best light to use with a small compact GoPro system like this is actually a light called the Loom Cube. And it's a tiny little cube. I ordered one yesterday, so it's actually gonna come tomorrow and I don't have it to show in the video today, but I will definitely do a follow-up video showing you how to use the Loom Cube with the GoPro, what the results look like. But if you don't have a Loom Cube, then you can use an external light such as this Iwata Genius Light. And I love this light because I did another video right up here talking about how I use this for food photography and food videos. And again, for the size, this is actually a super powerful light and you can control both the color temperature and the brightness. And this is an extremely bright light. And it is a little bit big to use with the GoPro, but you can actually use it. If you, this is a arm from Joby. I kind of just took apart one of my Gorilla Pods and took the spare arm. All right, so here, this might look a little strange, but this can be totally useful if you need a light source. So here, you can have your camera here filming straight ahead. You can even stick your wireless mic right up there and plug it in on the side. And then right here, you can have a light. And with an arm like this Gorilla Pod, you can actually bend it. It can be vertical like this, or it can come up front and, sh and act as like a fill light, or it can be up here as like your, your primary light. There's a lot of options with a flexible arm like this and just adding a compact lighting system. So the last thing to talk about is Ulanzi's third version of their vlogging rig. And it's really interesting if you look at these cages, you can kind of see their thought progression about how they chose to evolve the design. So the V3 is quite a bit different from the V2. Instead of being plastic, the V3 is all metal and that can be good or bad because it's nice to have a more solid case, but it is a lot heavier that way. And it looks a lot like this Hero 5 metal cage. So again, the GoPro Hero 5, 6, and 7 are all roughly the same size. So you can use a cage for the Hero 5 or the Hero 6 with the Hero 7, should fit just fine. 
But this particular metal cage, again, is great. This is not Olanzi, this is another third party. And because it has the cold shoe, it has the filter thread, the same 52 millimeter filter thread, but what it doesn't have is a section for that mic adapter. So if you're out using the GoPro just by itself, you don't want to connect an external mic, and you might want just a regular metal GoPro vlogging cage. But if you are trying to vlog with your GoPro, again, you're going to really want to invest in that separate mic adapter, which is very large. And so with this V3 cage, the section for storing that adapter is still on the bottom, but instead of being completely covered, it's actually slightly exposed. And then here on the side, another thing I really like about this cage is that they've really reinforced this section where you plug in the adapter to the GoPro's USB-C uh, port. And that just makes it a lot more stable. It's a lot harder to accidentally pull this out. So I like that about this design. So there we have the adapter on the bottom plugged into the GoPro. You still have that 52 millimeter thread here so that you can use any kinds of lens adapters that you might already have. So we can stick that ND grad filter up front or again a polarizer or a regular ND filter. And then you have not one but two cold shoe mounts and they are integrated into the frame of the cage. So up top you have cold shoe mount and then here on the sides you have one. So I like how they basically took this bar and we're like, well, we're trying to give people an extra cold shoe mount, but you know, we're, it's coming at the expense of adding this bar. So what they basically did is just took that cold shoe mount and stuck it on the side. And so by doing that, you can now take something like, again, this Rode Wireless Go receiver can go right there, or it can actually go on the side if you'd rather have it right there. And then up top, this is a perfect spot for like the Loom Cube or a light or again, a second camera. So a lot of different options. But let's go back to the Olanzi V3 cage. So here we have it mostly decked out. The only thing that's missing is that Loom Cube up top. But again, in the bottom of the cage, we do have a mount for tripods. So we're gonna take the Joby Telepod Mobile, which is still our favorite GoPro vlogging tripod. And again, if you're not familiar with this tripod, it is really great because it is a short little tripod, but has a magic power and that the center column can extend really tall so it can act as a selfie stick or help you get a higher ground. Or if you're sitting down at a table like this and you want your GoPro to be eye level with you, you can just extend the center column. So still love this tripod. It's not the most stable thing in the world, but for the GoPro, it works just fine. So there you have it. This is our newest GoPro vlogging rig with the Ulanzi V3 cage. And it's starting to look a little sci-fi. In fact, I look at this and I'm like, with that little eye there, it's like almost like a robot, like Inspector Gadget or something. So I really actually like the look of it. Uh, it does come at the cost of being a little bit heavier, but it looks really, really great, has nice added functionality. And I really have to give respect to the company Ulanzi because they have rolled out three different vlogging cages and each one to me has been really thoughtfully designed. Like they're taking serious feedback from uh, actual users and they're making a better product. But with that said, the GoPro Hero 8 is on its way, should be released sometime in September. So sometime within the next few weeks. And although we don't have official details about the Hero 8, there have been some photos leaked and based on those photos, it looks like GoPro might be going in the direction that Ulanzi has kind of been pushing it. So it looks like GoPro might also be embracing the vloggers uh, that choose to use their camera because the mock-ups that I've seen had basically been the Hero 8 with all of these modifications attached. And so right now, again, it's a big question of if GoPro themselves are going to be giving you mics and lights and all kinds of accessories, or if they're going to encourage you to buy third party. Nobody knows yet, but it looks really promising that the GoPro will continue to be modified for people like us that want to vlog with it. All right, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, feedback, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Let me know. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.